Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> so, I know... Hey... Well, I guess I can't even say that. I am back with some more Unison League. The internet's working. I really hope it doesn't lag out like last time, because that was rough. So, the plan for today is to turn up the volume a little bit. Okay, that's kind of loud, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So the plan for today is just like the title says, more, uh, more Sagaris farming, which is the elemental, like, sets pretty much. But we're going to do all of our daily spawns that we're able to do. I think there's only two out right now for us, but... We have a chance of getting decent stuff out of them. And the free, so who cares? Uh, oh yeah, we have this stuff too. Forgot all about that. We'll do these eventually. What's this? Hmm. Dang, we got a lot of stuff to grab. Oh, dang, it was so much that we had to go into a different page. Um, get all of our stuff. Get our free XP. I think I'm going to turn the gain up just a touch. Uh, right about there? Maybe a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, I think that's pretty good right about there. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, uh, we don't need to do any of that stuff. We're probably not going to do this event yet. Let's get this, because it's free. That's not what we wanted. That is a really good sword, though. I was literally just looking at that on my main. But, oh well. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, that's sweet. Is Aizen always magic attack, magic defense? That he is. That's really good. Dude, the sword is nice. I was like, I was looking at it while I was like checking to see like how much I'd actually be able to get with just doing the free spawns and if I wanted to spawn how much I'd have to. And it was just drawing. My eyes. I want to spawn for it, but I got to save my gems. I've spawned too much. I would say this account could spawn for it, but I don't play enough to really, uh, really make the most out of it. And since I try to stagnate this. I'm just glad we got Aizen for free. That's huge. The only question really is how long is he going to take to actually get to it? He's a 39 cost. Didn't I get Sindura on this account? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, uh, I even looked in the Discord just to check what I did. Oh, it's great. Why do I have so much crap? Handful of plus value stuff. Um, yeah, mm-hmm, dude, I freaked out. It was actually, like, insane. I pulled it, and all I could do was just laugh hysterically, because I didn't know what to do with myself. 
it's still mind-boggling that I somehow got it. Even that's not terrible for us soldiers, though. I mean, it is for you since you're a weirdo who uses axes, but that's besides the point, I guess. You know what? I'll keep that, and I'll keep this. Yeah, you want that attack defense. That's the good one. <laughs> um, is there anything here we can get rid of? I don't need duplicates. Uh, sure. I'll infuse both of these. Is there anything else? It just takes money to infuse at the low level, so. Um. All right. I keep thinking I'm on a freaking character that needs defense. I don't need defense. I was wondering why these were like this. Okay. Now let's go ahead and sell. This doesn't matter. We can cosmetic it if we really wanted to. Same with this. Those look good in... Is I trying to max them? There's no way. I ain't even wasting ether on that. Ask me if that's what I was doing. You're dumb. There's no need for that. Do you, you get a UR Hakuki, right? Uh, yeah, you do get the Lambent. It is called Hakuki, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, okay. So we can sell these two because we already have them in our cosmetics. Uh, this. Can also sell this because we won't need it maxed. Um,. Same with these. I guess I'll be weird and max these possibly maybe one day. I really doubt it, but I can have aspirations. These can go away. Uh, yeah. That'll clear up a little bit more room. But what are we at? We're doing. We're obviously not doing too bad either. Oh, we can clear up even more room. Right, right. Already forgot all about this. This one. Man, a hundred thousand is kind of pricey at this point. I thought you'd get more money for doing story. Guess I was wrong. Um, then we'll do this guy. And I'm actually gonna put so. Oh, I'm actually gonna put something in Discord and see if anyone takes it. Not tight.
Okay. Um. There we go. That should work. So I pretty much just said in the Discord that if anybody wants to come and hang out while I stream and talk uni with me, they're more than welcome to join this channel. So, maybe we'll have somebody come in. I don't know. I figured I'd put it out there because I think it'd be cool to talk to somebody about Eunice and stuff. What am I doing? I need to go to this. No? Did my brain just break? Where is normal? Oh. <laughs> um. Where's the music? It's just taking a bit to kick in. I don't know. Is Discord... Discord audio is included, so... Yeah, it should work. Yeah, I don't know. I guess if anyone wants to, they can. Good stuff. I might do that for every stream from now on. Because I think it'd be fun. Then we'd keep it more lively. Because... This game is 99.9% .9 farming. And that's about it. Just having other people to watch and talk would be way better than just me talking to myself randomly and just saying some funny words. <laughs> if I'm being honest with myself. Because I think the coolest thing I say is when stuff... <laughs> it's when Karm just hits something really hard and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> Oh, I hit caps lock. My fingers aren't aligned right. That's awkward. Watch him mess up the field. Nope, just Spica in it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I forgot that his uni monsters hit like trucks. <laughs> Spick is not supposed to do that. <laughs> I mean, she does hit hard. Don't get me wrong. She is a strong, low-cost monster, but... That was outrageous for this level. I think I've said this in like every other stream that I've ever done for this game, but this music is so good. <laughs> and I, I only ever hear it when I do this type of stuff because I play mine on my phone and it's always muted. But actually getting to hear some of the battle themes and stuff is just so nice. Did we get all of our mage stuff we needed? Yeah, it's missing there. And it's missing there. And none of this matters to us. We'll do it all, but... It genuinely doesn't matter. And what? We're missing convictions now? Well, that's in the tower. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Win stuff, though. I think this weekend I might do... Uh, tower of Judgment... And the battle practice. Because it is Unison Lee's turn for a long stream. I don't think I've done a single long stream of Uni, actually. Could be wrong about that, but I don't believe I am. These streams used to be, like, super long, but... I stopped doing such long form stuff unless it's the weekend because none of just drain myself too quick. Not worth it. I want to enjoy playing the video game instead of having to worry about Can I stream for three hours tonight? No, you can stream until you're done. Shut up. It's <laughs> <laughs> the mentality I gotta have in myself now.
thinking about the future of this like series if I actually keep with it enough a lot of these people are going to have I guess not people a lot of these characters are going to have almost identical like upbringings and they're even going to have almost identical farms later on aside from like what type of farm it is like obviously our lancer character when we make him won't be farming for nyx because it won't need a magic attack magic defense monster but in nyx's place he'll be farming for like apollo which is just the pretty much the physical version of nyx nothing super needs to farm for amaterasu I guess a phantom wouldn't be bad, but uh, a phantom, a an archer, and a berserker could probably end up farming for um, Alice. Uh, who else is there? Apollo, like a no? Does he count? Is he one of them? He is, right? Yeah. Apollo would be farmed for by a soldier, a lancer. Uh, a jester if they wanted to. And I suppose you could also justify doing it for a phantom if you do a heavy mix set. Or you do a physical. And then who's last? Absaris? Asveris? I think it's Asveris. Yeah, it's the dragon. And that's double defense, so the only two that can really justify farming for it are a soldier for defense increasing stats and a bastion. Which I don't know if Oath did. And I'm not 100% sure how I want to go about making another bastion. I don't know if I want to continue where I left off with that one. Or if I want to revamp it or something, I don't know. Just leave that series as like the first series I've ever actually done. So I don't know. I guess I'll just have to decide later. Because I could probably do... I don't even know what one this is going to be. I think there's three on the channel right now. I still have to download the one from... Uh, when the internet decided to go all wonky on me. And then there is also gonna be this one, so that's five. We're not even done with the second story yet. We still have to do a Tower of Judgment. And then I'll sub-quest in one of them. And then farming particular events, which is gonna take a few streams each. I don't know, might be able to push, like... 30 to 40 like streams out of all of these characters so that's kind of cool to think about and if we do event farming then you can, you can farm infinite like there's always a new event every two to three weeks depending on which type of event it is if we farm for the xeno staff or xeno gear which i'm not doing no thank you that would take even longer because you have to get into a guild or have like the guild that they're in already be high enough to get ranks with Granvia stuff. And I just don't feel like doing that. I'm just now focusing on my Xeno Sword and I've been playing the game for four years, I think it just told me. At least this account. I had the Xeno Sword maxed, quote unquote, maxed out until they updated it again to where it has another level to it, but. I'm just now focusing on actually maxing it out. And I've been playing for four years. So yeah, there's always time to <laughs> do whatever the heck you want in between.
I will say I am very tempted to spawn, but we really don't need to spawn to actually get stronger. There's a lot of stuff that we can just get from doing these that'll make us stronger. Oh, there's Matt's favorite monster. Can I use Aquarius on this account? Is Aquarius a set stat or is she a random stat combination? I want to say she's always magic attack, magic defense. I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It's been a while since I've gotten one that I remember. Because I maxed her out on my main account a long time ago, so... Now she just kind of sits in limbo. I don't even know if she's on my character or if she's in the chest. So... I have her maxed out. I just don't know where. Because you'll never know when something's going to get an enlightenment. Or... No, it's just about it, isn't it? Yeah. You'll never know when something's going to get an enlightenment. So you might as well get all of the monsters maxed out so you have a cheaper time doing it. That's what I think about. Yeah, that's what I did with the... Uh... Oh, what's her name? I just can't think of it. Ariel. She's a wind monster who's a 36 cost that puts up Seraphic Element. She recently got an Enlightenment. And I had her maxed out, so it was like dirt cheap to get her maxed out. And she's not bad. She's very good for you to play uh, Wind Stat Mon. Keeping your main slot. She boosts all your monster stats by 20% of their wind. Not too shabby at all. I keep on headbutting the freaking mic. Because it is right next to my face. I turn because I want to. And all I hear is the sound of plastic hitting each other. A smart person would probably just move the microphone. I don't want to. <laughs> That was some weird delay. Let's pick a Aquarius. Those buffs help Karm so much more than me. Honestly, I'm not even upset. I'll get strong one day, too. <clears throat> I will say, though, living in Illinois and having this giant snowstorm that's going to hit us from... It started last night at 8, and it's going to... It's supposed to last until Wednesday at midnight. So it's supposed to snow all day today. And so far that has held true. But it's just a pain. Came home from work pretty early because we finished the day really early. And I said, nope, I ain't staying. I don't want to drive home. Which is like mm, a 20-25 minute drive home from work every day. I just said, heck no, I'm not staying if I don't have to. So I put in some PTO, so I got paid still. And I left. <laughs> and then as soon as I got home, I had to shovel and help Jaden shovel. Because we don't have a snowblower yet. We might not get one, because we're young enough. But <laughs> our driveway is so long, it's so stupid. But it's so cool. 
it just it took like an hour for us to like shovel all the snow it was a it was a process oh no that's not what I wanted I was just waiting for him to get his unison now we're stuck to never finish especially if that happens I don't know if she gave Twilight. That could be helpful. Okay. Okay. I dig the Twilight for story missions. Oh, okay. I see you. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Oh, now I'm confused. That's not quite as enjoyable. Yeah, no. I think I'll just settle with putting up feet. That would be another monster I would love to have. He just looks cool. Although he's got kind of short, stubby legs. I never noticed that before. He's a goofy, yay. Eh? Oh, I didn't underestimate you, Mr. Int. Don't worry. He's got short, stubby legs. What elements have we gotten? Has it been water, fire, and wind so far? So what would be next? Did we get dark? No, because you don't get a dark, I don't think. I think you do now. But dark is so strong. They put out some crazy stuff for dark. There's also a new water one, and those water ones are super strong too. The end of this is when element stuff starts to go crazy. That's where some of it might come into actual like, gear score set too. It's all around. Cause I forgot I gotta use gems to unlock uh, gear sets completely slipped my mind. Are you confident? I'm confident. Maybe this time Karm can actually get his units engaged without dying. Easily. No hesitation, go straight for Sendura. And he changed the field. <laughs> I just hope he deals a lot of damage. I can live with it. Yeah. <laughs> he still hits like a truck, so that's all that matters. Thank you. 
<laughs> My finger slips. Max AP increased by 10, so we just got 5 levels from beating that one. Nice. What is this? Star. This is when some of the stronger stuff starts to be uh, a thing. Oh, I guess I can replace some of this stuff. It's weaker. And then I might not get procs off of it, but they're strong, so it works. This one can replace this up here. Put one here. And we'll replace this guy. Oh, we can put ice in here too. That's what? 2, 16, 18. I knew that. That distribution is kind of weird. Oh, does it always spin that way? Looks like it. Never mind. I guess I just never noticed. Time is after this one. Maybe. No. Maybe? Yes? Do we already get the light stuff? I couldn't tell you. I'm gonna say no, because I'm pretty sure they give you the stuff that you should put on for the quest after. That's why we did the wind stuff before this and now we're facing water. That didn't happen. Those do damage, but not very much. Mm, should be enough, though. Not if I'm blind. <laughs> not if I'm blind. But he gets piercer, too, so we're fine.
Yeah, this stuff is totally worth it. Um, how much does it cost? Three six. Sounds good to me. Cause that's a pretty hefty stat boost. Then I think we're just gonna wait to max infuse some of this stuff until after we do the Tower of Judgment. Cause the only thing we need the Tower of Judgment for is to get to floor 35 with each of the classes. As that there's no reason to really do it. I think we really only need to get Yeah, we only need 30 convictions per class. And that does include the bonus classes, so. And you can get 30 for all the base classes by just going through 15 through 30. Maybe it's 21. I don't know. Whichever class it is, they had to do that to start. You can just go through whatever the lowest level is up until 35, and you will get uh, enough convictions. So that's not a concern or anything. Should deal some damage now too. This one scale? Nope. Just a heavy hitter. I didn't think I was going to be this tired after work, but holy crap. I'm like half asleep. This is ridiculous. Um, What is it set? 25-4. Definitely just better than this. And this. So. There we go. This clothing is also better too, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there is a time one now that I think about it. I keep getting the two stories mixed up in my head. I don't think there is a time one. And if there is, it's not. Is there? Is there a new song? I would have known it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. kill him. Alright, I don't want to deal with this, guys. The jerks. Probably should have waited for Karn, but... Oh. Man, that would have been perfect. Anything would be perfect. Just let me attack, please. Thank you.
Oh, we finally lost all the boosts, and now we level up a bit slower. That's only good for me, because I'm a weirdo, and I don't like leveling up very quick. I used to be really crazy about it, but I kind of just stopped caring as much, because it really doesn't matter. It was just me being weird, trying to get as high as I can as this low level. Um... Yeah. It's only a slight boost, but... Get rid of this stupid constant proc that we don't need. What are you? You're a constant. You are an other constant. What are... Nope, not you. What are you? You're a defense constant. Okay. Which would mean that they both activate now. Good stuff. Which means I can replace these two. Yes. I'll put this one up front because I like it better. They're literally all the exact same, just different color though. So, there is no difference. Different color just means different stat. The Vega stuff, pretty good. I am a fan of Vega. Oh, we start getting Renee now. Or Renee, I'm not even sure. It's the wrong one. That's, that's, I, I need your recovery over here. No, nope, wrong one again. That's, nope, still the wrong one, but I'll take it. One of those moves is bound to be the one that cures status ailments. Just keep spamming, you'll find it. Oh, there it is. No, buddy. She spammed every single move that wasn't the stat healing one. Also, because we have Rene now, uh, it's symbolizing that we are getting to the later part of uh this story i think we're about halfway through now with all the additional content that they've added over some updates dude i would love to have freaking zeus in that guy looks so cool she's got sherlock does sherlock hurt or is it only the star one that hurts It's only the Star Woman attacks, okay. Well, we dealt a million damage without having to have uh, Vital Strike. That's pretty cool. That's just pure buffs. Sherlock would be huge for us, it looks like. Excuse me? This is why these stories are perfectly possible right after the first ones. Karm can just do that. If you have even a mediocre monster and you let Karm buff up with like any of his monsters, he can probably wipe the floor with something. Now it's the Vega armor, which is pretty cool looking. I wish the music wouldn't just stop every time we like go back to the selecting the mission menu. I guess they're quests, but it is slightly aggravating.
I wish we were just a bit stronger. I mean, we wouldn't have to union these waves, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, he didn't have his? How? What? Okay. There's no way that Nesha buffs us that much, too. I had no idea about that one. I knew Sherlock was a buff. Kind of. I knew one of the Sherlocks was a buff. I know the star one also buffs you, but... I knew that one of them didn't attack and buffed only. So I knew about that. I didn't know that Nesha actually could do that. Maybe it's Nessa. I don't know. <clears throat> She's like a 32 cost monster, so she gets outclassed very quickly. But anything is good for us right now, so I would even take that. We have a 26 cost Aizen on the team. I would be happy with the 32. <laughs> Ooh, big damage. Oh, double Ragnarok. <laughs> Ooh, that was scary. I also don't know how I'm so debuffed after she used purification, but okay. To each their own, I suppose. Arm still doesn't have his uni. What the heck is going on? Guess it's his uni on last wave, then that's fine. I really thought that he'd have uni by now. That's awkward, Karn. You just missed every single one of your shower carnage hits. And now everything just dies. <laughs> Aquarius mixed with Titania is not gonna be a good one. Okay, I lied. They have a lot more HP and defense than I thought they did. Maybe they're just not super beefy yet. There is a point in time when CPUs use monsters that just hit like trucks. I think that's when we start getting into the uh, sacred beasts. I believe that is when everything starts to get ramped up in damage output. Never mind. I guess Max A. Never mind. Yeah. I did forget that AP is linked directly to your level, not a plus two to it. What's next? The light stuff that is worse than the star stuff. But it's okay. If I'm being honest, I kind of want to put the Vega stuff on, anyways, because it's just better. Um, I really wish we had another monster. Technically, we do have Star Sherlocks, but it's not the correct stat combination. I don't know. I think we're fine, though. Let's collect all this.
That's a lot of cost. Two, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, eighteen. Is that enough to do anything? Oh, that is a lot. Okay. Need to be level 210 for our last one, though. So I guess for now we're just kind of balls to the wall, Edda. You get to keep friendlies, though, so that's always nice. It does suck that we have a basic ability, though. Oh, I completely forgot to do this at the beginning. Uh, while I have it in my memory, this monster over here, their name is Mellow Melody Brahma. Or Baja, my bad. Brahma is a completely different monster. And then this one over here is Cool Charm Leia. Leia? I think it's Leia. I'm not good with names that I'm not, like, super familiar with. But yeah. Um, I did actually end up finding the correct site for once. So I can get a hold of every single image of every single monster that has ever existed in Unison League. My hard drive, it's an external one, thankfully. But it is going to be screaming from how many pictures of Unison League monsters are going to be downloaded onto it. There is way more than there are probably streams that I'll ever do. But that's what makes it fun. These two are new. Like, their spawns came out recently. Like, really recently. But I can't wait to start throwing in, like, certain event monsters and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably try to do that when we're actually farming the set event. Like, I've already used Asferis. Um, who else is there? I don't, I think I already used Alice's enlightened form, so that's sucky, but. I don't know if I've used Nyx's, though. Gosh, diddly darn it. I can always go and check, however. Okay, let's do this. I just had to open up my files folder really quick so I could check out what I need. We've already used Avsaris. Keep saying it wrong. Um, we've already used Amaterasu. We've used Soul Driven Colossal Eisen, so we can't use him again. I think that's it. That's the only like event ones we've used. So that's always cool. I don't feel like having Karm die, because he's a little stupid. And so we'll just give him Piercer, sir. He can do whatever he wants. Because Galileo just couldn't get it. what she needed. Or I just get to take them all out. Okay. Karm just kind of sat there. I don't think CPUs are programmed to attack even if they have Piercer. Or that he just didn't want to attack, I don't know. That was weird though. I also either didn't know or completely forgot that Galileo gives uni gauge gains and cost increase. That's actually super nice. And damages. That is one superstar of a 33 cost. 
I believe is what she is. <laughs> I'm just ready for these stupid ones to be over with. I would enjoy farming and doing, um... Oh, I can't remember what they're called. The Sacred Beast. I keep on forgetting that's what they're called. I would love to farm those. Those quests are hard and they give pretty good rewards. At the end you also get a UR of whatever Sacred Beast it is that you're doing the quest for too. So that'd be pretty nice. I don't think there is... No, there is no dark one. Only fire, water, light, and wind so far. Still waiting on the dark and the other two. Possibly an elementalist one, but I highly doubt that. They don't really make anything that doesn't have an element anymore. I'm still just excited to get Aizen into an enlightened form. He's not like amazing or anything, he's just cool. <laughs> I don't really care about how amazing anything is. If I cared about that, I would put my main account on here so I could show it off, but I just don't want to. It's not like showing that you can make Pretty, I don't want to say like super strong or anything like that, but I can make pretty strong characters from nothing. All it takes is kind of knowing where to farm and just having a bit of patience. Like just last night, uh, my guildmates and I were talking and <laughs> Kaisel's in the guild again because he finally started to play again. And he's like, I just want to be stronger than one of your alts. And... I got into my gear score set of my Bastion alt that I have, and it clocked in just shy of 3 million. And 3 million is a pretty decent threshold, not even, there's still a pretty good handful of people who can't hit 3 million. So I'm about to hit that, and I have spent a grand total of maybe 17 or 18 dollars total. So... You can you can make pretty dang strong accounts from nothing. And I only did that because I knew I was going to keep playing on it. Because I bought the dollar pack that you can buy on these. That gives you one of four monsters, I believe it is. And random stats. So I'm pretty sure I did that. I think I got like basic Zeus on it. But... You can easily do whatever the heck you want. You can play the game from scratch, never spend a dime, and get super strong. Just gotta be a lot more patient. And as long as you got the mentality to do it, you can do whatever. I used to really enjoy farming, like, the ordeals on this. They're not, like, super crazy or anything, but... They're just fun, and they're kind of challenging when you don't have a whole lot of gear. Heck, even the third tier is still semi-challenging for my main account. At least when I do it with CPUs and they're not, like, in element sets that are right. But they're not the easiest things ever. I can definitely say that. They're not the hardest. They're not the easiest. They're, like, on the easier side of things, but I don't know. That's something that's going to be kind of hard on here to farm. Because getting stuff to enlighten monsters takes the third level of each of those ordeals. As well as farming challenges, I believe. 
so it takes a decent amount of time to go and do that. And those aren't easy for free to play accounts by any stretch. But they are enjoyable, and that's all that matters. What rank are we actually? And what did I just get? I already forgot. Oh, the Betel Goose stuff. Nice. So what is our actual sign up again? 119. We're getting pretty close. 151 is the cap right now for um everything. 50. We'll just go ahead and put stuff like all this elemental crap in this. Anything that we have like this. Can just get tossed in. We have 50 spaces available. We're at 22 right now. Wait, it gives us two star stuff? Oh my gosh, it does. That's why it's so strong. You can just max infuse it. Because why not? Um, nope, just kidding. This is our class. Oh, I can get put that in too. I can leave these out. Does have a chance of actually being used. Well, I guess I'll just put... Yeah, it's fine. There's a bit more room. We'll have to increase our locker storage eventually anyways. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to finish Sagaris today. But I might get to the fun quest at least. So that could be fun. And you know it's going to be fun when I said it twice. I mean, it's only going to be that way if we don't get stuck in these stupid Diablos. They're so annoying. And there goes 30 uni. Oh, what the heck? I clit. Oh, his hitbox is lower than I thought it was. That's okay. He seems to be less active now that Renee's here. Renee's face also looks goofy. <laughs> she looks so so concerned. Yeah, boy. I love how Star can hit two things for advan advantageous damage. I must have said super effective damage, which I mean, <laughs> you can think of it that way. It totally works. I don't believe there's not very effective damage, but... There's technically only... Neutral damage, uh, LE damage, and then crit. I guess, okay, there's four different types of numbers you can see. White numbers means that you have no element that is stronger than what you're hitting. Um, yellowish orange is just you're hitting for an elemental advantage, so it deals more. Red is critical hit. And then blue is vital hit. Which only happens if you have a vital strike up. Do we have another person? Huh? Nope. I don't even know who that guy is. I still have never actually sat down and read the story. I just can't justify it. 
Might be semi-interesting, who knows? Just too lazy. This is a quest that you can get stuck on pretty easily. And it's all because of these two. All it takes is him to do that. If you don't have enough damage to out-damage everything there is in this level, you're just doomed. That's all there is to it. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure we're going to have enough, but it's kind of scary. But we should have enough. It gets bad when um, you're like a cleric coming into this, and you're not set up as an attack cleric. You're mostly set up as like a healer, like you're kind of meant to be. That's that's when stuff can get sketchy if Karm decides to hit somebody who he shouldn't. Because he is your DPS. You can't do anything about it. Oh, sick. It's not even the last wave. I just murdered that Delahan Captain. Holy crap. I'm terrified that my piercer's gonna run out. Okay, we're fine. Archangel's breath would be very nice right now. Or no, yeah. No, she healed herself. That's just greedy. You don't even hit. I guess we're going with this again. Who's she gonna use? Okay. I actually don't know what Guinevere does. Damage and buffs. I like Guinevere. I think her, all of her monsters give buffs, really. Staff bonk for the win. Ten more levels. Now what are we on? There we go. This stuff's good. Um, I'm being honest though. Why is it ten gem or two gems? That's ten gems down the drain. Man, oh well, it needed to happen eventually. Well, let's get this one to three fifty. Um, gear locker store. Oh, this is such a tease. Okay, anything elementally associated can get tossed in. Not any stabs. Okay. I guess if I really needed to, I could also put all my helmets and armors away, but I think we're fine. Do I have a Ghidorah? You're just a base 4,000, aren't you? 
Ooh, you even have magic attack as your buff. Nice. You take forever to breed with if I really wanted to do that. Uh, wants me to chat five times, right? You do indeed love our cookies here. Nope, you're not soft and fluffy. You're perfect, bud. Oh, I love you, Mal. You're just so squishy. I would give you so many pets. No, I don't. Oh, what a trickster. I love you, buddy. I already said it. Alright, that's enough talking. <laughs> have a good day. I'm gonna hatch a dragon now. Is it... Is it already here? Gosh dang it. I knew it went to the tr present box. Uh, this... Nope, just kidding. This button. There we go. Now we can hatch a dragon. Did I equip any staffs that are better? No, right, I was saving for this. I'll just do 29 for now. It'll definitely need to go up once I put on the time stuff, but that's enough for this. We'll probably go until I hit the, uh, the Sacred Beast quests. Which are coming up pretty soon, so... Oh my dear lord. Right. This is when they expect you to have, you know... This is when they expect you to... Have your class ring up to six. We do not. So. This part's a bit tougher for us. Nothing that we can't pull through, but much harder than it needs to be. We're going to have to heavy rely on Karm just being an aggressive monster. And buffs always help. She changed the field that sucks, but it's okay. Because it kind of works here. We still don't deal that bad of damage for us not being, like, the correct class. Or at least, like, class level. Because, yeah, Karm's dealing 1.5 million now. We're, just, we're meant to be way stronger here. Karma's always a I can't even say always. Karma is most of the time stronger than the player when they get to these parts, but you could you could outdo Karm. Be a bit tough though. I think we'll be fine on time, so that's good. I'll let Karm take care of... Why would you do that? Hello there, Sapphireless. How are you? I'm surprised somebody else actually showed up for a uni stream. <laughs> the people used to back in the day, but that was two and a half years ago. I don't know if I have enough DPS for this. I'll just use some Vera again. There's this Alexander. That should just take a chunk out, right? Yeah, not as big of a chunk as I thought. Still a chunk, though, I guess. I 
I gotcha. My main account hasn't even fully finished the event. I'm at like 450k out of 500. Uh, this is gonna be a close one. I don't know if we're gonna get it. Karm's just stopped attacking out of nowhere. <laughs> Thanks, Karm. You jerk. I guess I could just put her in for now. That's what, 25? Yeah. Definitely won't keep her forever, but not bad. I should be able to reforge her, right? Cool, we do have the pieces for it. I figured we would. And that'll be good DPS. I don't really have a DPS mom. Let's try this again. Um... If we're talking about my very first ever account, probably about seven years. If we're talking about my current main account, four years. I've been here a long time, but I didn't know how to play the game back then because of the stupid kid. I'll admit it. to die in a funky order. This is just wasting time. Especially because that. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was dumb and I never knew that you had to freaking augment your stuff to make it stronger. So I would get to like a plateau point where I didn't know what to do. So I would just make a new account. And now looking back I'm like wow. <laughs> you just missed the entire point of the game. But, oh well. <clears throat> I know how to play now and that's all that matters. I think the only thing I'm even upset about not keeping with those old accounts is like all the special events and stuff that came with collabs. But, that's pretty much it. I can't use Star, it's gonna match. Oh, no, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet, I guess. I forgot all about that. Oh, and he's switching the field. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember anything from back in the day. What does this one do? I already forgot. Oh. Ooh, it reduces magic attack. That ain't bad. We have a shot, but we had a minute and a half last time we got to this point. Although my cost isn't going down very fast, so we sh might have a chance. I just need Karm not to be stupid and actually attack. That's all I ask you, Karm. Not a boy. Just go crazy, buddy. Yeah, 
Hey, you can help me. It's okay. As long as we kill enough that I don't feel like we're going to lose. There goes all of our buffs. Karma, I need you to go crazy, bud. Sucks. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do that, but it looks like we actually hit a part where I can't win. No. Dang, that was actually closer than I thought, too. No. I guess I'll just have to wait until you come back as the next class. I know. Sometimes Karm just goes on an onslaught and he'll just never stop attacking. And then sometimes he'll look at you, expect you to do everything, and then just still doesn't do anything afterwards. I should probably use those. <laughs> it's a good thing I paid attention. Are those other things going bad too? That is true. CPU clerics are rough. You know what? We can end it off with doing these. We gotta use these anyways. The CPU clerics when you're trying to do Tower of Judgment with some of the harder classes that you're not built for early on is like the worst thing known to mankind. Or if you're being a cleric during Tower of Judgment and you're like other CPUs just don't want to attack or they're just not the right classes that you need. Oof, that gives you nightmares. Why is your hitbox on top of your freaking tangerines? And did they? Thank the Lord. I might have known about that. I don't know. It's been a little bit since I've done the Tower of Judgment. So once you beat it the first time, all you gotta do is go and use your enhance your speed quest tickets on them if you ever need them again. I'm just glad they finally added the part where CPUs have ailment resistance <laughs> instead of constantly getting hit with ailments that they definitely should not have. And that part is uh, aggravating. Don't worry, guys. I'll take care of him. That snowman was very scary, I know. With his 1 HP. Oh, I can't even one-shot these things all the time. Gosh dang it. I really need to upgrade my class. <laughs> it looks like that's what we're doing Saturday. 100% going right through the Tower of Judgment. I guess depending on how long we have after that, it depends on how many different classes we try to go for. Um, I have all of the stabs from doing, <laughs> doing the campaign or the main story. Yeah, I just haven't gotten rid of any. Because I would do cosmetics, but that's too hard. Because, I mean, I have all the staves from it. I also have the relics and stuff, because eventually I'll become... I'll probably do some streams where I do, like, the relic version of a mage, the book version of a mage, and the staff version. But 
in reality, I already know I'm going to end up going with the book version because it's the strongest. I just got to hope I can get good enough books to make it worthwhile. And that's where the events come in. Because they give out 41 cost decent books at a pretty consistent rate. That's honestly where a handful of my books are. Book mages are broken. It's only because of uh, Time Spell Book. Because Time Spell Book is a decent hitter. And it also uses your magic attack stat and your magic defense stat. It's like Lunatic Ray, but stronger. And so I just always... Whenever I like multi-class to mage, I always end up using... Um, Lunatic Ray, Time Spell Book, Weakened, a toss-up between Arcana World, Mend, and Cheer, and then Fanatic Soul, and if I'm smart enough, and or have it built into the set, whatever, like, would replace basic attack. But, I don't know. Half the time I don't even replace it, because <laughs> I don't have that much. I can multi-class, just not superbly. Um, take it. Sure, let's do a spawn. Whoa, <laughs> it's not for us. I <laughs> uh, gotta use the rest of those. Uh, no shed. Oh my gosh, it's two hundred. Chill out, platinum bar. You gotta get these, they're only 10 each. You always run out of these. You can just farm all the metals and stuff anyway, so that doesn't matter. Yeah, that's how I am. All of these, like, stream accounts, I hard focus on one class and I never change from it. And then I'll get as far as I can slash want to, and then I'll just go and switch to a different stream of, like... Uh whatever the other class will be. I just like to showcase how strong a certain class can get. Because, I mean, you can you can beat the game and do endgame with any class. It just depends on who you find as partners and stuff. And those are helpful for this. Um, is that about it? Those are helpful, but those are expensive. Why are they so expensive? That's hopeful. Yeah, I think let's get these and then get some gold limmies. I was thinking about doing it, but I got bored with using my CPU as, as friends. Because then it, that is not as genuine. I mean, you could technically go and just friend request a bunch of, like, higher people. But at that point, it's not, like, it's not as fun. Because not everyone's going to be able to get lucky and accept or get accepted by a uh, either a whale or just someone who's been playing forever and has a lot of like good stuff with them. But I could showcase how strong my main is. That was it in its... I don't even know what set it's in. My water set. Because I was farming... I was farming this. Um, let's see, gear sets, bam. I gotta go equip my dragons, though. I don't have the right ones on. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Okay. My main right now at max gear score clocks in at 3.81. I mean, that's up to you if you want to give the CPU friend code away, but I probably won't use CPUs unless... I don't think I'll ever use them, actually. Just because then it keeps as authentic as possible. For the people who don't like making friends like me. 
<laughs> that was always terrible. The only time I ever added people as friends is if we did, like, one of the end game quests. And we all, like, actually communicated and had to talk to each other, but... That's about it. Uh, is there anything I can really do before I end? Because next one's just 100% gonna be a farming tower. And it's a lot of stuff that's free in it too. One, two, three, four. Five, five gems. I think these are twos, right? I think so. Maybe they're only ones. I don't know. There's five of those two, though. So. Yeah. I guess that's all we can really do is that next time. What is it to get Star or Starburst? 25 and 20s. That's not too bad. Empress. Mm, well, I don't really care about that. Ominous Omen's only PvP. Yeah, I literally only want Starburst out of this, if anything. But actually... Yeah, you're definitely not wrong about that. But now that the Sagara story is out and everything like that, it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. Because, like, all I have to do is switch into the other class and just stock on one of these. And it's not as bad. The end ones still get kind of hard. Like, 31 through 35, those are still brutal. Especially as Cleric, because your CPUs are stupid. So, all the other ones aren't terrible. I think the easiest ones are probably the bonus classes. I think Rook Berserker and Treasure Hunter are definitely the easiest 31 through 50 or 35. Just because it seems like they're a bit dumbed down compared to the base 5. Can I teach them anything else? Nope, gotta get the armlets. Which we can do in a different stream. What about you? I haven't gotten far enough and I haven't gotten the essence. <laughs> I can't get any of them. Yep, same there. Yep, okay. Well. It looks like I am out of things to do until I farm the Tower of Judgment or just Brute Force or spawn, but I don't want to spawn because you can get everything pretty easy. That is true. Yeah. It won't be so bad, though, because I don't have to worry about maxing out these classes. <laughs> oh, my God. Maxing out to the seventh ring and everything is so expensive. I, I, what? I had been playing pretty frequently from the time that the 6th ring was out. And they kept raising level caps, so I would keep playing. And new events would be out, so I kept playing. But I kept doing that. And I still didn't have enough proficiency to max out all of the 7th rings. Even after using all of my keys. And having like... However much... I don't even remember how much I had hoarded. But they never used to give out those times 8 events back then. It was just always raw... 0% boosting. So I got like 3 or 4 maybe maxed out. And then the 5th one is a partial. And it took me like another month to finish it. It's like why? It's <laughs> There's no reason it was that expensive. But you have to do it. Because man if those stats aren't something to look at. Hmm. Do they even do they? No it's a class. No never mind. They're all class traits aren't they? They are, but there's such huge class traits, it's not even funny. No, it's these ones you really want. All the share traits are amazing. Especially all these set percentage ones, you just want those. Who cares about the rest? You get the fourth ring boost and you're set. It is fourth, right? Yeah. Get the fourth ring boost of everything and you're fine. And then the rest is just getting there. Yeah, I never did these. I would always jump in, get the uh, 
get the gem and then dip out. <laughs> I was never a PvP guy. Even though my guild made it into the tournament at one point, but then we just got wiped in the first round. <laughs> but, but we weren't even expecting to make it in the first place. So, I'm not too upset with it. Yeah, I have noticed the XP. The XP is crazy. It really helped one of my... I think it helped my Bastion get from, oh, like, 290s to max because the <laughs> guild battle for winning was so much XP. But I think I'm just going to end it there because I can't really do anything until I farm tower. And tower will be on Saturday, so... Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Sapphire, for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Chris and Alton, for stopping by. And I will catch you guys on Thursday. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.